What's up beauty lovers? Welcome back to my channel. Today is a quick tutorial on this easy, kind of fun, glam Valentine's Day look. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, I gotta record this next part fast because my battery is running out um, and my kid's gonna wake up from her nap any second. So this is just quick Valentine's Day glam. I only used Bad Habit palettes, um, which you'll see throughout the video, which you can find on, what's it called? Uh, the Hush app. Yeah, that's it. It is negative 50 degrees outside, and yes, you heard that right, negative 50 degrees. Um, but being 34 weeks pregnant, I am just sweating and disgusting, so I apologize for the way my face looks throughout the video. Yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, my friends, as always, I have gone and done my eyebrows using the It Brow Power Pencil, as well as the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Brunette. I've already primed my eyelids as well using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which I'm not a huge fan of, surprisingly. The first palette I'm going to use is called After Hours by Bad Habit, and I'm going into the color Blushed, which is that light pink color there. And that's going to be our transition shade. We're going to use a fluffy brush to put that into the crease and blend it up and out. The next color that we're going to use in that same palette is called Powder Room, and this is a light beige color, and I'm just going to use that to better blend the pink up towards my eyebrow. Third color we're going to use is called Cabernet, which is that really pretty wine red color, and that's going to go right below the pink color into the crease. The next color we're going to be using is called Hickey. I don't know who came up with these names, but whatever. That really pretty dark red. And that's going to go on the outer corner as well as partially into the crease using a small blender brush. And then I'm going to take a fluffier brush as well to help it blend out into the red color. And it's time to cut the crease. Today we're doing a half cut crease. I don't know why I use this concealer either. It's so sticky and putty and it's just not good for a cut crease. It doesn't glide well. Um, as you can see, I have to kind of play around with it. But you know what? We made it work. The next palette we're going to be using is called uh, Aphrodite Palette, also by Bad Habit. And we're going into the color Crush, which is this really, really light pink shimmer shade. I guess it's not that light, but it's beautiful either way. And I'm taking a flat brush to apply that to the lid. Onto another new palette. This is the Athena by Bad Habit. And we're going into that really glittery shade right at the bottom. You can tell it's well loved. And I'm going to use my finger to pack it onto my lid. You can also use a flat brush like the one we used from before. It's up to you, whatever is easier for you. Back into the first palette, we're going back into that hickey color, and we're going to put a little bit more on the outer corner of our eye to blend into the glitter color and darken up the crease. And then, of course, take a fluffier brush to help blend better. Taking a smaller blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and use that hickey color from my bottom uh, lid as well, and then I'm blending that out with the light pink color from before. For highlight, we're going to use the Aurora palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, that whitish color in the middle, and that's just going right underneath my brow and right on the inner corner. I forgot to grab some regular eyeliner, so I'm just using black eyeshadow for this um, from the palette I want to say and doing my lower and upper water lines. Of course we're going to curl my eyelashes and add some mascara and as always I did my lashes, put my fake lashes and did the rest of my face off of camera.
And there you go. There is your final Valentine's Day glam look. You could also skip the step with the glitter if you don't want to go that extreme, but you know me, I'm extra. Perfect for a night date night out with your loved one. All right, guys, there you go. There is your full Valentine's Day look glam. Uh, something fun if you have a good night planned out. I'm not a huge Valentine's person myself, but I love doing makeup for it because I love playing with pinks and reds. So I'll do a few more looks as well. Thanks for watching, and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, and go ahead and subscribe if you're not. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.